I'm Dylan Scala, a senior at Garza Independence High School. I'm Maya Nunez, a senior at the Amherst School for Young Women Leaders, and this is Inside, Inside AISD. AISD. On this episode, AISD starts a new safety program. Students and families celebrate Youth Arts Month, and more coming up on Inside AISD. Inside AISD is the original television program that highlights good news in the Austin Independent School District. In each episode, we explore exciting activities and programs while recognizing students and staff. Austin ISD launched a school bus stop arm safety program to improve the safety of students as they are picked up and dropped off by school buses. We want to make sure all kids learn and excel and reach great heights academically and socially. But we have to make sure that they're at school every single day and that they're safe. And that's what we're going to talk about today with a new initiative that has been in the works for, uh, um, for a few months that now we have today. We want to talk to you a little bit about that. In June of 2015, the Austin City Council voted to pass an ordinance that makes a camera enforced civil offense for illegally passing a school bus. And this allows us to, to, for the issuance of civil citations, if you pass a school bus that is loading or unloading. A violation occurs when motorists pass a school bus that is stopped on the side of the road with the red lights flashing. With the stop arm extended, the cameras on the buses will capture the images of a car approaching the bus, passing the bus, and then continuing past the bus to show the violation has occurred. Um, we've had an opportunity to have school bus stop arm programs in school districts throughout the country, and we've seen a tremendous, tremendous um, success in changing driver behavior. In fact, 99% of individuals who have received a violation from a school bus stop arm camera haven't received a second. We have two cameras on the side of the bus. One of the cameras will, will be used to capture the license plates of the vehicles. The other will be used to capture an overhead view that will provide individuals who run the stop arm um, with a video of them running the stop arm. It will show the arm extended, it will show the lights flashing, and most importantly, um, it, will, it will give them um, an idea of what it was that they did when they ran the stop arm. Stop arm running is a serious problem. Austin ISD is going to do something about it from here on out. Coming up next, young artists celebrate Youth Art Month and a grant helps fund a fabulous science lab. Every day counts. When kids miss school, we miss out. Make sure students attend. All, All day, day, every day. day. Youth Art Month, also known as YAM, is a month-long national celebration. YAM celebrates visual arts education for pre-K through 12th grade and emphasizes the value of art education for all children. Travis High School Junior Juan Salcedo kicked off the annual Youth Arts Month when he autographed a billboard featuring his artwork. The Austin Fire Department lifted Juan and AISD Superintendent Dr. Paul Cruz to sign the billboard. The billboard theme for this year was Art Has a Story to Tell. Juan's art teacher, Rachel Wellborn, Travis High School students and faculty, along with Juan's family, were present to join in the celebration. This came from my mind. Whenever like, I was a little kid, my, my grandma used to tell me a lot of stories, so I just came with this. Several billboards at multiple locations around the city feature Juan's design. These billboards promoted the AISD Student Art Show while raising awareness of the importance of fine arts education. The Austin ISD Art Program is one of two in the state of Texas to receive the Arts Basic Award. The Texas Commission on the Arts gives this award to individuals and districts that lead in the field of art education. I'm really happy and proud of myself to have my drawing on a billboard. Our district-wide art show celebrates National Youth Art Month, and so we're celebrating our National Youth Art Month uh, right now through the middle of February. We like to advertise big across the city. We have some great partners with our art program. Reagan Billboard provides us with uh, 10 billboards that we can post. A student design, which we run a little contest and, and choose one student design to be on the 10 billboards. A Plus Credit Union pays for the printing of the billboards, so they're all around the city advertising this show. The AISD Youth Art Month was January 31st through February 16th, 2016. The celebration featured a free district art show at the new Austin ISD Performing Arts Center. 
Over 1,500 works of art representing 113 elementary, middle, and high schools were displayed for public viewing. This is our 31st year of doing this district-wide art show. That doesn't include the really old uh, CIC. We've been doing this for a long time. We've had art in the district since the 20s, so I imagine in one form or another we've had art shows since then. They'll be able to see just about every kind of art course drawings and paintings and sculptures and jewelry and printmaking, mixed media, we have digital art, we have photography, just about everything you can think of you'll see in some form or another here. We took a metal and we carved a design on it and then we put it on a piece of black paper and we just continued the design using metallic pencils. This is a tree that I drew, uh, I first drew and then I painted and we sat under a tree first and decided what we wanted to do. I just really like drawing things that are actually alive and you can watch grow. Um, I used all watercolor, but I first traced over it with um, pencil. I think it's important because you actually have a time to relax and not stress out and you can express your emotions and what you want to do. In this exhibit we have artwork from all of the schools. Many schools have more than one art teacher so every art teacher, their classes are re represented in this show. This is my St. Basil's Cathedral. Well, um, we uh, did our own version of it using black and white and this is just showing, figuring out how to make it look darker or lighter with Sharpie. It's kind of fun because you know that, oh, a bunch of people are looking at this artwork of mine. I'm doing something that's appearing in the public. It is so wonderful to see from pre-K on up to 12th grade what students do in art, and the kids love it. They love to go and see not only their work and neighboring schools, but where they're going to middle school, where they're going to go to high school, what's going on there, and get inspired and involved and maybe want to take art when they get to those, those levels because by then it's, it's a, a choice to take art. I love three-dimensional looking because I just like realistic, but I once favored abstract and I think I still do. There's nothing wrong with all kinds of art. Art is just like, it's awesome. I really appreciate how people can put together their artwork and the AISD and how they use all of our artworks and put them together. It's pretty cool. It's like a museum. In our reception, we always like to include uh, other entities in AISD and ask for their help. We have um, for entertainment, we have the steel drums from McCallum High School, and we buy some of our cookies from Clifton Center, the students over there. In the elementary schools, we have a little contest for a design for our t-shirt. Our t-shirt is just to advertise the importance of art, that we have art in all of our schools in AISD. The schools can then sell those shirts and make a little profit that go, can go into their art program supply count. There are many talents that we need to bring out in our students and this non-verbal way sometimes it can bring out a lot more of the feelings, the emotions, the true experiences that the students have. They can tell wonderful stories with their artwork and when they get to talking about what inspired them, it's just wonderful to hear and see what they can do. And I think it's really important to bring out those talents and to reward those talents in students. Bertha Sadler Means Young Women's Leadership Academy has won a Fab School Labs Award from the Northrop Grumman Foundation. The Academy will receive a grant of up to $100,000 to transform its science, technology, engineering, and math classrooms into the state-of-the-art STEM teaching and learning environment. Sadler Means is one of five finalists selected from nearly 200 applicants nationwide. Students, staff, and parents have been sharing their pride about the Austin Independent School District on social media. Tell us why you are proud to be a part of AISD. Post a pic or tweet and use the hashtag AISDProud. Let's show the world why we are AISDProud. Summit Elementary students, staff, and community celebrated that. 
That is the Vietnamese New Year, based on the lunar calendar. The celebration included taiko drums, dancing, martial arts demonstrations, and the popular lion and dragon dances. The Tet Show celebrated the diversity of Vietnamese, Japanese, Chinese, Cambodian, Laotian, and Thai cultures. Summit Elementary School is AISD's host campus for the Vietnamese Dual Language Program. The program serves to promote bilingualism, biculturalism, and biliteracy. For more information about the AISD one-way and two-way immersion and dual language programs, visit the website austinisd.org. This has been Inside AISD, the TV show that covers exciting activities and news in the Austin Independent School District. Stay in tune with district news and events. Visit the AISD TV blog at AISD.tv. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash AustinISD. And follow us on Twitter at AustinISD. For Inside AISD, I'm Dylan. And I'm Maya. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.